On this, the November 6th, 2023 edition of What's Going On with Shipping, the Cape Orlando has arrived in Tacoma, Washington. I'm your host, Sal McCogliano. Welcome to today's episode. So if you caught our last episode, you would have followed along with the trials and tribulations of the motor vessel Cape Orlando, one of 48 ships in the Department of Transportation's Ready Reserve Force. These are ships designed to assist the Department of Defense in the deployment of military equipment and materiel during times of war, emergency, or when U.S. shipping is not available. The Cape Orlando is based in Oakland, California, one of many ships based in and around the San Francisco Bay Area. It received its activation orders, was scheduled to sail to Tacoma, Washington, load such equipment and ammunition, and sail overseas. Word got out to, I don't know who, that the ship was sailing to Israel to support the Israelis' fight against Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Yes, we're going to load equipment for Israel in the U.S. port that is about as furthest geographically from Israel that you can imagine. That's the port we're going to load it in. That prompted demonstrators to head down to Oakland and storm the vessel. Initial protesters were held outside the gates of the port. Now, Cape uh, uh, Orlando and several other ships were just recently shifted from Alameda over to this area in and around Oakland. The security in the area is weak, and I'm going to say that blatantly here because it is basically the only security there was a chain link fence with some barbed wire on top which obviously isn't affecting this dude because he's sitting on the barbed wire because the protesters were able to jump the fence and get into the area understand to get on a u.s port you need what's called a twit card a transportation workers identification identification credential uh, and without it, you're not supposed to get on a terminal port at all. But this area isn't used that much. Very minimal security, as you can see here. And this led protesters who were protesting pro-Palestinian, uh, not sure if they're pro-Hamas or not, but they're pro-Palestinian, anti-Israel, to storm the area and attempt to prevent the motor vessel Cape Orlando from sailing. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, they did not prevent it from sailing. They were big pains in the ass, however. Because not only did they get on the dock, but then they started climbing up the pilot's ladder after the ship took the pilot on board. Now, smartly, the Cape Orlando, which is managed and crewed by Patriot Marine, took their gangway up. So that the only way to get on board the ship was by the pilot ladder. When the ship's pilot came on board, the protesters bum rushed the ship. They were able to climb up on the ladder. They couldn't get into the vessel because some merchant mariners, Coast Guard, and other People were there to prevent them from getting on board the vessel, but they refused to go. Now, what, you know, you got to take the ladder up to, to get underway. You got to secure the hatch. Uh, so they basically manhandled and pulled up these workers, uh, these uh, protesters, and they were turned over to the police, which from my understanding from reporters in the area were not charged with trespassing, with breaking and entering, with illegal entry, with piracy, with anything. They weren't charged with anything. And let me be clear, they were menaces. That's a menace. Wrapping a mooring line around you on a dock as a ship prepares to get underway is a good way to get yourself killed. But no one was hurt. Nobody seems to be arrested. And the Cape Orlando was able to depart. Now, there was a lot of misinformation about it. And my favorite example is this one right here. Islam Susha posted this. What is the Qatari flag doing over Cape Orlando, USA military cargo ship? Two question marks. Okay. I understand. You have a right to protest. You have a right, you know, we got the First Amendment and, you know, you can protest things I disagree with all day long. The problem I have is when you are putting out idiotic statements like that. That is not the Qatari flag. It's not even close to the Qatari flag. The Qatari flag is a white flag with a burgundy area with these kind of uh, kind of almost like jigsaw cuts in it. That's the Qatari flag. That flag is the international code for the letter H or the hotel flag. You use the phonetic alphabet. It is half white, half crimson. The reason I know this is I had that flag flying in my college dorm room door for four years. I know exactly what the hotel flag looks like. That flag is hoisted when you embark a pilot on board, not because you're symbolizing the nation of Qatar, which would be a strange flag to fly if you are supposedly supporting Israel. I, I, I don't understand these people. I, I don't understand them at all. The amount of, of 
idiocy regarding shipping is amazing. They obviously don't follow what's going on with shipping. All right. Cape Orlando sailed out of Oakland and proceeded up the coast. About halfway up the coast, it turned off its AIS transponder. That is the uh, automated information system that allows you to track ships. Now, you're supposed to be squawking AIS all the time. However, this is a government-owned ship sailing in U.S. waters, so they can do whatever the hell they want, and they did. They turned it off, which means that nobody knew when or where they were going to arrive in Tacoma, but arrive in Tacoma, she did. This is a replay of the port of Tacoma from marine traffic starting at 0900 UTC on 6 November. That's 1 a.m., Seattle time, eight hour difference uh, between the two. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this play. One of the things you'll notice here are two tugs coming down here, the Guard and the Athena, but the Green Bay, they're gonna be taking out. You just saw a vessel take off here. That was a Coast Guard cutter. And here it is. This is Coast Guard cutter 29447. I'm gonna hold it here for a second. Coast Guard cutter 29447 met another Coast Guard cutter further up that was escorting in the Cape Orlando. Cape Orlando is not showing up here at all. So here's Commencement Bay. Here's the Green Bay heading out, Athena and Guard. What you'll see is Athena and Guard will take a ship. You won't see the ship, but that's going to be Cape Orlando. You see them kind of paired up right here. I'm going to come in here a little bit closer. And they're coming in here to Pier 7. And you'll see them go up here, up against Pier 7. Takes them a little bit. They're going to sit there, wait for the lines to get affixed, tied, and then the ship, the tugs will take off. But that is where Cape Orlando is, and I'll show you exactly in a second. Right here, if we zoom in here, this is the main gate into Tacoma. This is where the protests are taking part right now. This is the main administration building. And it's right here along this berth. This is not a... a, a live satellite image so right here along the berth is where cape orlando will be almost all the cargo for cape orlando would have been already pre-staged onto the terminal so protesting outside the gate disrupting trucks coming in and out has nothing no effect on loading cape orlando all you're doing is preventing cargo getting on and off the terminal so that when you run out of lattes in tacoma and you can't get them it mainly because all the fixings are stuck in the port and cannot get out. This is motor, motor vessel Cape Orlando up against the dock there at Pier 7 in Tacoma as we speak. speak. Port side 2, she was just brought in and she is currently loading cargo via her stern ramps and other cargo being loaded on board. One of the things I want to highlight again, and I can't say this enough, there is absolutely zero, zero evidence that this ship is loading any equipment and cargo for Israel. Because I can tell you right now, I'm watching a ship that I think is going to Israel right now, a, a vessel of the Ready Reserve Force, and it's not the Cape Orlando. More than likely, Cape Orlando is loading equipment for the routine change out of brigades in either Korea or the Middle East, or the Persian Gulf, Kuwait region or a uh, resupply of equipment and material into war reserves stationed throughout the area or a potential exercise that will be taking place in the Pacific for the U.S. military. Uh, probably these protesters are doing nothing but disrupting traffic and causing problems. But hey, knock yourself out. First Amendment, do what you want. But the motor vessel Cape Orlando and its crew, I salute you, gentlemen and ladies on board, very unappreciated. So we appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate what you're doing. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hey, take a moment, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. So you'll be alerted about new videos as they come out. Leave a comment, share it across social media. Give it a big thumbs up unless you're a protester, in which case you're hating the fact I'm telling you that your protest is doing no good. In which case, you're probably not watching this anyway. If you enjoyed today's video, why not support the page? How do you do that? Well, you can hit that super thanks button down below there or head on over to Patreon and become a monthly or yearly subscriber. Until our next demonstration against the ship that is not carrying cargo to Israel, this is Sal signing off.